Hey guys, it's Erin, and today I'm going to teach you how to do water marble nails. This was one of my most requested videos, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you want to see my full list of tips and tricks for water marbling, then make sure you check out my blog. So to start off, you want to paint your nails with a base coat and then paint the nail that you're water marbling white. Then take some clear scotch tape and wrap one piece around your finger, and then wrap the other piece kind of around your nail. It's kind of hard to describe, but you can see in this video how I did it. Using tape is going to significantly minimize the amount of cleanup you have to do later, so I would really recommend you do this. Next, take the polishes you're going to use. You can use as many or as little as you want, but I would use at least three. You're going to drip little drops of each polish into a cup of water. I find that warm water works best, but you really have to play around and find what works best for you. Try to put in at least three drops of each color to get a really good bullseye. Once you're happy with your bullseye, take a needle or a toothpick and start drawing your design in the polish. Don't pull from the first ring, pull from the second or third because the first ring will probably already be dry. Once you have a design that you like, dip your nail right on top of it, down into the polish, and then take a Q-tip and start cleaning up the rest of the polish that's left on top of the water. It helps if you blow on the water so that other polish dries and it's easier to clean up. When the surface of the water is completely clear, slowly pull your nail out of the water. Now start pulling the tape off of your nail. Be sure to be careful to not touch the nail polish since it is probably still wet and you don't want to mess it up. You can really see what a huge difference it makes in cleanup. To clean up right around my cuticles, I'm going to take a small brush dipped in nail polish remover and just slowly take it around the edges to get a clean line. Finally, apply a fast drying top coat. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys liked this design. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And as always, please leave a comment telling me what design you want me to do next.